So in this video, I'm going to tell you why you may have an elevated potassium, even though you're not eating potassium rich foods, you don't have any kidney disease, uh, you don't have any heart disease, and your potassium keeps on coming back elevated on your labs. So the potassium is usually the letter K on your labs, and the range is 3.6 to 5.2 millimoles per liter. So the phlebotomists, who are the people that draw your blood, tell you to do a particular thing before they draw your blood, and this can falsely elevate your potassium. So if you continue to have uh, elevated potassium, maybe your doctor needs to let you know this because many people don't. What do they tell you to do? They tell you to make a fist. And a lot of times they'll tell you to make a tight fist or pump your fist, which is the worst thing you can do because when you do that, you actually release potassium from your forearm. The concentrations go up. And where are they going to draw the blood? Right here by your elbow, which is by your forearm. And then the potassium is elevated. So many times what I'll tell patients is, don't make a tight fist. Just kind of close your hand and loosely hold it like that. Just fake it because a lot of times they're not going to draw your blood until you, until you make a fist. Um, but never pump. Don't ever do that. You are pumping the potassium out uh, into the concentration, into the forearm, and you're going to have a falsely elevated potassium. And then the doctor is going to look at you and go, all right, we need to send you to a nephrologist because you may have kidney issues, or maybe we need to do an EKG, make sure your heart's okay. Uh, and then they may tell you to stop eating potassium rich foods. And you're like, I'm not. So I've read that this can increase your potassium by 20 to 50%, which is hum humongous. So how about if you had a dangerously low potassium, uh, but now because you're pumping your fist, it, it put it in the normal range. And now we're like, no, your potassium is normal. Well, low potassium is dangerous. We don't want you to have that. We want to know what the real potassium is. So phlebotomists, doctors, patients, you got to understand, this is a really big way to falsely elevate your potassium is by making a tight fist or fist pumping. So try to avoid that when they're drawing your blood. They say that fist pumping can be partially responsible for one third of the cases of elevated potassium. But we know that's a false elevated potassium. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe. Thanks.